Today we are going to talk about the emotions. Emotions, you can say, is a subtler form of action, subtler than the speech. They are experienced by the internal, non-physical senses. And not only non-physical senses, the emotions appear in the body and they are experienced by the physical senses also. And that makes them very, very unique experience, very strong experience. What is inside appears outside. You can say that the emotions are the motivators of the actions. Actions follow emotions. Emotions can be triggered by external events and also by the memory and the desires. Emotions, they acquire many, many impurities. There is nobody here who is free from impurities of the emotions. The impurities are hidden behind in the fake person. I am this. I am the emotion. This is the ignorance here. And so the emotions find a convenient place to hide. That is the identification with uh, the experience of the emotions. And therefore there are so many impurities that are hiding there, undetected. It is impossible to clear the impurities in the emotions if there is an identification with the experience of the emotion. These feelings, these sensations, these signals from the physical or non-physical senses or even the sensory organs inside the body. It is impossible to cure it if you are identified with it. Probably this can be seen as an impurity in itself that there is an identification with the emotions. There are nine of them. Probably there are more. I mean, these are the main. We call them the nine juices because they can be tasted just like any other sense. They are the kalia. They are fundamental. It is difficult to break down the emotion into anything else. And so they appear very real, just like the objects, colors, sounds, etc. They appear real. Mostly they are not seen as the activity of the mind. They are seen as my state. I am that emotion. This is the ignorance. Let's go to a short list of uh, impurities that uh, emotions can acquire. The first one is impulses. Impulses can be caused by desires also, but that is a different kind of impulse. Here we are talking about the impulse of an emotion. The impulse is so strong that it simply leads to an action. The action can be speech or an actual doing of some kind. As soon as the emotion arises, the action follows. And we call such people impulsive. If the person is angry, he becomes angry in a split second and does whatever the emotion tells him to do. There is no control at all. The emotion can arise out of their own states of minds. Lust arises as an impulse and they do whatever they need to do to obey the lust. Greed arises as an impulse and they simply obey the greed. There is no stopping, there is no thinking or there is no awareness of any kind here. I call them impulses because they come and go very quickly. And we can assume that most of the time the source is internal. When the impulses uh, or the emotions are produced from an external source or an event, we can call them triggers. They trigger the emotions and then they trigger the action also. Even without an action, the emotion is very strong if it is triggered by something else. Usually it happens because of another person. Action of somebody else, speech of somebody else, any such events can trigger the emotions. It is an impurity because the actions happen without thinking. It is an impurity because the holder of the emotion is simply a slave of the trigger. We call it pushing the buttons in ordinary language. You just push the button and the person starts dancing. It is specially harmful because others can use you to get whatever they want or to make you do things whenever they want. The next impurity is the negative emotions. Nobody cares if the emotion is positive. It feels very good. It is a pleasure, although they are equally problematic. But as soon as a, neg a negative emotion arises, that bothers us a lot. 
As everybody knows, most of the suffering is emotional in nature. Emotions are the biggest cause of suffering. Yes, there is pain in the body and that is a very bad form of suffering, but it can be recognized as pain happening externally. It can be cured by gross methods. There is no suffering in thinking something or that suffering is very subtle. But the biggest suffering is caused by negative emotions. There eyes as anger, jealousy, sadness, depression, fear and so on. These are our biggest enemies. They make us suffer. And I call them impurities because they should not be there. In a pure mind, what are these negative emotions doing? Negative emotions, they affect the body also. They cause diseases in the body. They affect the mind. Everybody knows that. And they cause mental diseases. They cause mental degradation, mental retardation. They cause very, very irrational, illogical actions. They remain there for lifetimes, many years, many months, many months. They linger, they degrade the quality of life. Rich or poor, stupid or intelligent, young or old, everybody is tormented by the negative emotions. We don't worry if something triggers a positive emotion in us, but we can feel the hellish situation when something triggers a negative emotion in us. Or the impulses are negative in nature, they are very, very harmful. So they get the stamp of the most damaging kind of mental activity a human can have. This causes most damage. If you do not stop them, they can lead to madness. And in worst cases, they can lead to suicide or homicide. All criminals are highly emotional creatures dominated by negative emotions. Their happiness is also negative. Whenever I say sentiments or emotions, usually people think of the negative emotions first because that is what they encounter most. All kinds of phobias and lunatic behavior is caused by negative emotions. There is a source of these emotions and there is a negative memory somewhere. There is some past impressions that are triggering these negative emotions. You must have noticed that uh, most of these emotions are survival mechanisms like fear, anger. They are survival mechanisms. Jealousy, pride, survival mechanisms. Even the love, hate, attachments, they are survival mechanisms. Here, the ego is in charge. The ego makes you dance by triggering various emotions. The word emotion itself means that that which puts you into an action of some kind, the internal force that moves the body. Most of the time they are negative. Now without trying to write a full book on the negative emotions because it can be done, we can, we can move on to the next impurity in the emotions which is fake emotions. Some people are incapable of having true emotions. It is uh, impurity of some kind. A healthy person, a healthy mind should be able to experience all the emotions. Some people cannot and they need to fake the emotions. And the impurity has another dimension that uh, sometimes we fake an emotion even if when, even when we are not feeling that emotion really. Even when it's not there. It is a kind of deception, a lie. You must have seen little Children, they learn very quickly, very early that if they start crying, they get the sweets. They get their demands fulfilled. When they are crying, they are not really sad. They are not really feeling anything. They just, just shout. They pretend. They learn it very quickly and they continue this for whole of their life. Whenever you want something, you just start crying and you get it. Sometimes the pretension is so deep that they, that can bring actual tears. And people can fake happiness also. Look, I'm so happy today just to blend in the society. And the biggest one of the fake uh, emotions is the emotion of love. It is very easy to say I love you without feeling any love, without having that emotion. If it gets my job done, yes, I can say it anytime. 
Some people pretend to be loving and there is nothing but hate in their hearts. Some people pretend to be kind and compassionate but they are indifferent. They are just showing off the good manners, that's all. Some people appear very polite but they are very manipulative. They are very dangerous because an ordinary person, inexperienced, innocent person easily falls for such people because they can see the emotion and then a similar emotion is mirrored in their mind and the emotions are blind. There is hardly any intelligence in the emotions and you can make the other person do anything. The other person is a puppet if you have displayed the proper emotion. A major uh, display of fake emotions is lust masquerading as love. This is the biggest fake there is for humans. There are many examples. People can fake almost everything. Bravery, patriotism, altruism. They can fake all these things. The biggest fakers are the politicians. There is hardly any emotion in their, their speech. They just excite people. They just trigger people. Some people are real masters of it and we call them actors. And they are experts. in faking the emotions and also invoking the same emotion in another and that is an art actually and that can be misused there are fake people everywhere and if you are also a good actor you can fake emotions and you can manipulate people very well spiritual people can fake spirituality by displaying compassion kindness or fake states of the mind oh i am in bliss today and nobody knows <laughs> what kind of fake bliss is that how is there an i there another impurity in the emotions is uh, dryness which is there is an emotion but it is not being expressed in my opinion the emotions are suppressed here and it can be indoctrination it can be a forced kind of behavior somebody is forcing them to not display the emotions you be a good boy and don't cry even if you feel bad you should not cry and so on we are indoctrinated like this and the person grows up as a dry person incapable of displaying any emotions sometimes they say it but there is no real expression there that is an impurity a healthy mind should be able to express any emotion nicely dryness causes loss of relations loss of trust because people judge each other based on what kind of emotions they are displaying and a big impurity is indifference which means there is no emotion at all probably there is no cure of it or there is selective emotions if somebody is important for me i become emotional for that person i behave in an emotional way or i feel the emotions there but if somebody is not so important for me then there is indifference it does not matter what happens there there is no emotion at all and this is seen as normal everybody does that if somebody dies in your family you cry day and night somebody dies in your neighborhood you are sad for one day but if somebody dies in another country there is hardly any emotion <laughs> and people think that oh it's totally natural and i also agree <laughs> because the emotions are governed by ego the ego sees no point in wasting its energy doing something which is not impacting its survival the ego is smart in this matter so it does not trigger any emotions in that case or is somebody else who died or is somebody else who is suffering they don't need my help this is indifference it is an impurity it means the ego or the selfishness is in charge another impurity is automated action here the life is governed by the emotions there is no rationality here every action is dictated by emotions and purely by emotions there is nothing in the intellect it is mostly pleasure and pain kind of life that feels good it gives me pleasure i'll do it this gives me pain this does not feel good i won't do it that's a characteristic of a hedonistic person and also a stupid person a stupid person is totally governed by emotions because the intellect is not functioning properly and the characteristic of such a person is they think they are very smart but they are just touchy feely 
emotional puppets there is hardly any soul in them just hormones just triggers just impulses what to do to get rid of all these impurities probably there are more but that's all i could think of today this is a subtle impurity and you cannot use any external means to clean it if it is your environment if it is a body you can see it you can do something to clean it if it is speech you get the feedback instantly but this is something very very personal so personal that you think that it is me so very difficult to clean it there are only two ways to purify the emotions the first is provided by mother nature and that is learning via suffering and the second is awareness which comes only after self realization only after knowing your true nature it becomes possible to distance from emotions otherwise not otherwise the ego is in charge and its weapons are emotions even then it is not possible to cure all of the impurities in my opinion it will be a miracle if things like indifference get cured by awareness or by suffering <laughs> yes the other things can be cured the first method the emotions produce a fruit the emotions trigger an action and then there is usually very bad fruit consequences and next time we learn not to be governed by the emotion anymore not to become a slave of the emotion we are careful we engage our intellect and we let the emotion come and go we act after thinking a little bit and this is because we suffered a lot and we learned from it it is a good thing when we suffer through all the emotions usually 20 or 30 years pass and that kind of person is called matured person is not now in control of the emotions because he has he has seen it all he has seen the consequences of anger he has seen the consequences of lust he has seen the consequences of being happy and doing crazy things in that happiness this is well matured person the awareness can do the same thing at any age without going through all these emotional dramas control over emotions does not mean that you become a robot it simply means that you are not governed by the emotion they don't rule you that's all a healthy mind and a healthy body has emotions of all kinds but they come and go they do not result in any action not even speech unless you want to express it we also get a good control over the expression that does not mean faking or suppressing that simply means not expressing that which is unnecessary which is trying to express for no reason it is just ego whenever an impulse arises you should stop immediately do not take any action and that is possible only when you can see the impulse arising the impulsive emotion has arisen you can see it you can feel it it is trying to push the body into an action it is trying to push in the speech and wants you to say something it can be good it can be bad both have consequences if it is done in an impulse the positive is also negative it is it has been performed in darkness and so it is going to bring a lot of consequences so you stop wait till the emotion passes because it's an impulse it's going to go very quickly within few minutes it's gone and then you do don't do anything because probably there is no need to do anything here or you do that which is necessary after thinking it nicely whenever you face a person or a situation with which triggers emotions the first thing you can do is avoid such situations avoid such people as much as you can don't face them and if they are using you if they are pushing your buttons you become aware of the situation and refuse to be manipulated and if not you need to see that there is this person now and there is a situation now which triggers my emotions it does not trigger me it triggers only the automated response in the body i am always the witness so know this take precaution turn on your awareness and then see the mechanisms in action how the trigger happens what thoughts arise what kind of emotions arise how they're pushing the body to do anything how they're pushing the speech to say something just observe 
the next time you face the same trigger the emotion will be less intense this is guaranteed this is how these things work you repeat them and they become stronger you control them they become weaker and they completely go away also after a few such sessions you will see that you cannot be triggered now or it happens very rarely now the mechanical behavior has been replaced by an aware intelligent response it is no more a reaction awareness is very important here or you get burned so many times that you learn not to get triggered another trick is to forgive the other person who triggers you now there is nothing to react to forgiving has this power that cleans it is a purification method similarly for negative emotions you need to become aware as soon as the negativity arises in the body mind see that there is really no need of the emotions here they are simply causing suffering they are arising from the memory probably it's very old it is the past right now right here it's not needed and then let go of that negative emotion do not think it uh, it as mine that is the biggest mistake people do that when the emotions arise they immediately identify oh it is me it is mine it is just an activity of the lower layers primitive layers it's not you it's not yours it is an event in the universal memory and you get this knowledge only after you progress spiritually especially after self realization if you abide in your true nature you will be saved from all kinds of suffering this is guaranteed the suffering does nothing to you now the negative emotions are powerless now so i'm sorry i cannot give you any such cheap tricks that we discussed in the last episodes here you will need to bring in the awareness remember we are dealing with mind here we are dealing with non physical here almost non physical it is on the border but you can call it non physical and now the tricks don't work <laughs> here yes there are some tricks but they are for kids not for spiritual seekers they are for people for whom everything else has failed that is their electric chair we don't want that method <laughs> we don't want to go through that torture of manipulating the mind let there be negative emotions yes it will react yes it will bring up the negative emotions because there is a, there is still a negative memory there it is a machine so it will do that its own thing it will act on its programming the program executes very very accurately faithfully like a good computer you just watch it let it be there there is no harm if the emotion resides in the mind body for a for a while if it is not producing any actions okay you watch it and then let it go the same thing can be done for positive emotions also same thing can be done for the in between emotions also like lust or pride whenever there is a negative emotion you see it you sense it and resolve not to act here the intent or the resolution or the will power is the keyword you should develop that kind of will power very very strong intent to not act on negative emotions this will become your second nature with practice even before the emotion arises in you you will become aware of it yes there are subtle very very subtle signs that a negative emotion is coming there are even subtler senses that will tell you even before it arises so you don't need to taste it also it's gone as soon as you know about it there is no need to feel it also you can catch it at the stage of the memory you see the emotion is in the body mind that means it's already too late the process has almost finished the last stage which is the which is the state of, stage of acting is the only one that did not happen yet for an ordinary person who is not doing purification it will happen in a few seconds so arrival of the emotion there if they are seen it's already last but one stage there are many stages in in between and you can become aware of them all we have this capability we don't use it and the consequences suffering if you are suffering there is impurity there is no doubt about it if you are suffering there is ignorance there is no doubt about it if nobody told you these things you will suffer forever 
the mind has no way to know once identification happens there is no way to come out of it only somebody who is standing in that position of knowledge can tell you these things and then it it becomes very easy now you simply become the witness this is the easiest thing to do in this universe to become the witness because you are the witness <laughs> you should not take a magic trick to do that it should not be a miracle to be that which you are it is a miracle to be that which you are not for example the ego or the emotions or the body or whatever and that is the biggest miracle that is the dark curtain that has been pulled over your eyes you cannot see it now if you are faking emotions well it's better to not have any emotions if that is the case there is no problem if you don't show any emotions if you are faking them because you are getting something from the other it is an impure relation you should get out of that relation immediately what kind of relation it is which is based on a fake emotion if you need to display fake kindness compassion you are not spiritual there is, there is no realization then you never felt one with anything else because the kindness compassion they arise only when you can see the other as me you can see every creature as my form and then there is no need to fake the kindness it is not a behavior pattern kindness is a natural emotion and the actions that precipitate out of kindness are natural actions they are not my actions they are not the egoic actions so there is a reason behind the fake emotions get rid of that reason whatever it is stop acting become genuine if you have any kind of emotions remaining show them genuinely if you are with people where you need to fake emotion all the time you need to have a fake smile on your face all the time you are in a wrong society you are in a wrong culture you are you are pretending to be good or you are pretending to be wise and serious inside there is nothing but stupidity if you suffer from dryness try to bring in the emotion there is something interesting about the emotion that when you try to fake them sometimes the real emotions are triggered when you try to fake them you can do this experiment because the emotions are devoid of any intelligence the lower layers they do not know whether it <laughs> whether the owner is trying to fake it or not whether the owner is, owner is really crying or faking it try to fake crying and you will find that you get the real crying similarly you try to laugh it's a fake laugh but you will find the real laugh now arises out of it because it's a stupid action so it is possible it is possible to fool the emotions it is possible to manipulate them although i don't recommend all these things but there is there is a solution for dry people bring in some emotion in your daily life in your interaction with people people find an expressive person as genuine this is our evolutionary conditioning this is the evolutionary bias that we have if you don't see emotions in others we do not trust them if you cannot read the other person clearly we do not trust them and therefore the dry people they don't have they don't have any friends nobody talks to them <laughs> there is no juice in their conversation so a dry person is a very good manager or a military man or probably a judge or a lawyer but is a horrible husband <laughs> or boyfriend or a friend also never laughs never cries never angry never fearful so probably your profession has turned into turned you into this kind of robot so try some other profession try something else probably you are surrounded by dry people who are have indoctrined you to not express and get rid of them then get rid of that society get rid of that culture get rid of that country where people don't want any display of emotions that is not human probably there is no cure of indifference because this is how you are so my suggestion here is become aware of this situation also and now you, you will be driven totally by the intellect not by the emotions so you need to be aware of the impurities of the intellect which we are going to discuss in coming episodes and it is absolutely okay if there is no emotion naturally in you then it's fine although it is an impurity <laughs> but wait for the impurity to go away you cannot force the emotions not possible that would be a fake emotion if your actions are 
automated again you need to bring in the awareness do not act at least for 24 hours you get a very annoying email don't start typing you leave the email unread and reply next day or reply whenever you gain back your ability to think now you can write any anything there some fake language some politeness diplomatic words and you will avoid a lot of trouble by that by not a- acting automatically on this these things you get a positive emotion don't act on it you get an impulse don't act on it here you need very very strong will power and once in a while you will act on it and you will see the suffering it causes this happens to me a lot sometimes the strong will is not there St- sometimes it's a moment of weakness and i act on it and immediately there are consequences sometimes within seconds hours or in days and it is always bad consequence and i know this is my training this is how we learn next time that won't happen most probably so never act through the emotions always use your intellect for any actions yes the emotions can be tasted they are juicy they can be expressed you can express feelings mutual bonds can be reinforced if you want bonds and so on but do not act especially if it is a negative emotion and especially if your action is going to bring bad consequences even if you take care of these 10% uh, emotion that are extremely harmful and causing suffering you will find a 90% improvement in your quality of life without doing anything without earning money without becoming a millionaire without marrying anybody without a dog without a cat without a caged bird you will be happy you will be peaceful you will be blissful just these diseased parts of your mind if you take care of them and the more you do it the the easier it becomes to manage the emotions why it is so difficult because we never did it it is like tying down the feet of a person and he never learns to walk this is what has happened with the emotions we are never taught to control the emotions by control i mean eradicate its bad effects clean them up purify turn them into a tool of action which is what they are they are tools of actions they produce actions there are feelings associated there are qualities associated with them juices just drink the juices there's no problem in that becoming a slave of the emotions is a sure sign that there is no development beyond emotional layers so what we do we we uh, focus on the higher layers and we try to get the awareness all the time especially in difficult times where the emotions are dominant you bring your awareness doubly you double your awareness you make your awareness 10 times 100 times whatever refuse to be governed by the emotions the diverts a lot of energy from the emotion to the awareness and they think of the emotions as a source of energy to get into awareness this can sound a little bit occult but whenever there is an emotion emotional energy you divert that energy into becoming aware that balances everything it can be done by the intention it can be done by the will and it takes a little bit of practice